Have you ever seen a movie that just touches your heart? It was something out of a movie. It was the first game of the season. Fall City traveled to our place. It was close for the first half, and the second half we kind of inched ahead. The third quarter they caught on to what we were doing, and uh, things weren't going too well. In those games that have been decided one way or another, David will generally go in at the end of a game. Every possession they'd go down, have David set up, and they kept giving him the ball. He just kept shooting and didn't necessarily get him in. After several missed attempts on the last minute of the game, um, David got another shot and he missed. One shot he threw up, I got his rebound. We showed like brief eye contact. He, he started to turn and run, but he turned back and I threw it to him. He passed me the ball and I shot. That's it. As soon as it went in, I, I kind of just threw my arm up in the air and was like, yes. The kid could have gone for another drive down the court, but he decided to pass it to Davin, and Davin hit the three-pointer on the buzzer, and there were tears in people's eyes, and everybody was cheering like it was a state championship. <laughs> it was huge. It, it, it was just magical for me, and Ethan, I bet. As a child, David didn't develop quickly, and his speech was delayed. We discovered he had what they call a Dandy Walker variant. I really don't like my differences, uh, but I put a smile on my face and walk through it. Uh, <sighs> the reality is that if he had a traumatic head injury, he could die. I can't play football. I've never been really good at math. It's caused me the speech impediment I have right now. But I am intelligent, I know that. I'm gonna read this speech poem that David wrote, Believe. Tonight, we are going to be amazing. Nothing is going to stop us from reaching our goals. We just have to persevere, believe in ourselves, and together, we can accomplish anything. I believe that, they eventually do. We all have to believe it together as well. Let's go guys, family on three. One, two, three. Let's go guys. A little, little early, man. Yeah. Too much spirit. I love how I am, how I act, and my choices I make, and I like being raised in Fall City. I want to be humble and not, not be a bragging parent, but it's hard. I take pride in going to his sporting events. I can watch my son out there doing it and setting an example at it. It does my heart really well. Basketball has been really important to him. It's a social opportunity, it's an opportunity to be part of a team. He'll never be the uh, point leader, but in a lot of other ways he is a leader.
David doesn't understand how he touches other people. And when we talked about it, he said, oh my gosh, they see what I lack. And I said, no, they see what you have. At the very end of the game, I couldn't think of anything else but to get Dave in that shot. I knew it would mean a lot to me just to know that I had that feeling for him. The feeling that I really wanted him to feel was to know what it's like for his team to like be super happy with him. I think that's a special thing about um, this situation in this moment was it was selfless. You know, it's just a true testament to kids and how um, thoughtful students are. Sometimes I don't think we give them enough credit. It basically comes down to, you know, treat your fellow man like you want to be treated. If everybody came down to that, I think this world would be just a whole lot better. Don't judge me on my speech impediment. Don't judge me on my deficiency of modal skills. Just judge me as I am.